Using the mask modifier in SwiftUI, you can show and hide portions of a view using the alpha channel or the opacity values of another view. In this tutorial, you will understand how the mask is used in this animation and how to use it to crop a portion of this video. So let's get started. Let's begin with this animation. We have a logo and two other views all animating at the same time. They are all contained in this Z stack. So by double clicking on the three dots, all the views are contained in this C stack. So we have the logo. Then we have the other view consisting of this image. If I go to the assets folder, so we have the logo mark, I will control click and choose quick look. So this is the logo used in the animation. So the other view is this one. I will also control click and choose quick look. So this is one of the other views you saw in the animation and the last one is this one so we are going to use this view as the mask so we are going to use the alpha channel of this image to mask this view I showed previously let's go back to the animation and select the container having all the views that is this Z stack so if I move down we are going to apply the mask over here so let's put dot mask. To use the mask, we need to pass the masking view. In this example, that will be an image. Then we specify the name of the image we want to use. And this marks the rectangular wave you saw previously. If I remove the mask, we now see the rectangular wave. So this is how the mask is used in this animation. Let's move on to the next. In this example, we are going to use the mask to crop this video to show a certain portion of the video. So let's add the mask modifier to the video. For the masking view, we are going to use rectangle. We do not see anything. We need to specify the width and height of the rectangle. So using the frame modifier, we can specify the width and height. Let's give it a width of 100 and a height of 160. So that crops the video instead of resizing it. So we only see the central portion. We can also apply the corner radius modifier to the masking view. Let's give it a corner radius of 8. We can also move the video using offset if you do not want this portion of the video to show. To move the video to show a different portion, we should apply the offset modifier to the video itself instead of the mask. Let's apply the offset to the mask and see what happens. After the corner radius modifier, I will add the offset. We want to use the X offset and then set it to, for example, minus 40. You can see we move the whole video to a side of the screen. Let's change it to, for example, minus 100. If you add the offset here, it applies to the video and the mask. So let's remove it from this position and then place it here. That gives the same result. Now we move the whole container to the left. Instead of this, we want to move the video itself and not the mask. So let's remove it from here and place it before the mask. Let's change it to, for example, minus 60. So you can use this to display different portions of the image instead of moving the whole container. So with this, we will end here. And this is how to use the mask modifier in Swift UI to show and hide portions of views using the alpha channel or the opacity values of another view. Thanks for watching this video.